So the problem statement for this is the steel pipe is filled with concrete and subjected to a compressive force of 80 kilonewtons. Determine the normal stress in the concrete and the steel due to this loading. The pipe has an outer diameter of 80 millimeters and an inner diameter of 70 millimeters and the modulus of elasticity for steel and concrete are given here. So in this case, we're dealing with a structure with composite material, right? In this case, it's composed of two different material. The inside, the outside, we have a steel pipe and the inside is filled with concrete. Now, when it comes with, um, when, it de when you're dealing with structures with composite material, it's usually for reinforcement, right? You add, in this case, some concrete to help um, strengthen the structure, or it could be the other way around. You added the steel pipe to help strengthen the concrete because in this case when you have two different materials one material is going to be experiencing a partial of the load as well as the other so the forces is going to be distributed depending on the strengths of the materials and this is where we're going to be using the compatibility equation so what is the stress well in this case the stress is that external load divided by the cross-sectional area however since we're dealing with a composite uh, material composite structure um, each of the materials is going to be experiencing a different force as well as the cross-sectional areas of each of the materials is actually going to be different. So in this case, we use the compatibility equation. So we know that the deformation of the steel is equivalent to the deformation of the concrete since they are working as one um, structure and one component if one of them deforms and the other one has to deform the same amount because they're working as one part and so this is the relationship we're going to be using to solve for um, how much force is the steel experiencing as well as how much force is the concrete experiencing and then we can solve the stresses within each of the materials so now once you write the equations, we have the force that's experiencing in the steel material times the length divided by modulus of elasticity of the steel and the cross-sectional area is equivalent to the force in the concrete divided by the modular elasticity and the cross-sectional area of that concrete times that length. Since we know the length in this case is 500 millimeters and it's the same, they actually cancel out. So now you're able to develop a relationship between the steel force and the the concrete force of how much one experiences over the other. And doing some algebraic manipulation, this is the relationship you get. So now you can plug in the numbers and just solve for what this constant is to simplify this equation a bit more. So once you plug in the values, just keep in mind when it comes to the cross-sectional area of the steel, you do have to sub subtract the outer diameter um, and the inner diameter. You have to subtract the areas, right? The area of the outside at minus the area of the inside to get the cross-sectional area of the steel. Just keep that in mind. And then plug in the rest and solve for that constant. We actually get a relationship of the force within the steel member is equal to 2.55 times the force in the concrete. So we already see that the steel is supporting most of that load um, with respect to the, the force within the concrete. So now we, that we have this relationship here, what's another relationship that we use? Well, the other relationship is since each of these materials are supporting a certain weight, or a certain load, we have the force of the steel plus the force of the concrete has to be equal to, to that external load that it's supporting. In this case, it's 80 kilonewtons. So in this case, we have this other relationship that we could use. So now we have two equations with two unknowns. We could go ahead and plug the, the force of steel here and solve for that concrete, um, the force within the concrete. And so plugging in and then solving algebraically, we get 80 kilonewtons divided by 3.55 once we factor out the FC. And we see that the force being um, supported by the concrete is 22.5 kilonewtons. And the force of steel is 57.5.
kilonewtons. Now that we are able to see how much um, how much load does each of the materials support, we could actually solve for that stress in the concrete, the force of concrete divided by the cross section area, as well as the stress within the steel material, being the force in the force in the steel, a steel plug in um, and saw for each of the stresses within each of the materials. And so we finally get the stress within the concrete is 5.85 megapascals and the stress within the stre the steel is 48.81 megapascals. So we could see that there's more stress within the steel than the concrete. That means that there's more uh, more of the load is being supported by the stress. However, the concrete does in fact um, help in distributing the load. And so this is another application of the compatibility or the constraint equation. And the more you practice, the more you're, you'll be able to apply um, additional relationships beyond the equilibrium equations to be able to solve for any unknowns in any given system that you are analyzing. In this case, when you're dealing with composite materials, sometimes you have to think about it a little bit more, but once you start practicing it more, the relationships become a little bit more obvious of when to apply and how to apply it.